Welcome to Doorsta. I'm Pino Greed with Yui Kami-san and Taka-san. Today we're exploring a museum of VR painting. Let's go! Let's go! Come on, Pino! Hi! Mamoru Ho! Guardian of the Phoenix? Phoenix of the Guardian? It's good that it starts off with protection. It's really pretty. Oh, I like yeah. the jewels are really pretty. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, copy, paste, copy, resize, paste, copy, resize, paste, and you create, copy, resize, paste. I'm pretty like over and over and over. Yeah! That makes sense. Yeah. Please look! This circle! This circle! I mean, Sekiguchi's arm is compass, compass, and yes. the spine, spine, spines, and arm. Oh, it's quite impressive. And uh, same, and copy, paste the beautiful art. I think the Guardian Phoenix is an excellent start. Uh, it's white and somewhat simple, but it gives me a really good feeling about what is to come. They call me skating. Yeah, Paolo. Yeah. Takejiku is a Japanese tapestry. Paolo, you know, mm -hmm. come on, come on. In that. You can go in. What's bigger? It's bigger inside. Yeah, you know. And... Pee, 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 pee. Yeah, we are in that. Yeah, okay, magic time. Three, two, magic one. Magic time. Reach. Yep. Oh, in there. Oh. Even bigger. No more third yeah. size. I'm becoming so involved in the painting that I'm losing track of my meat space. <laughs> Keep this is, my this is a big, big chun chun bar. Big chun chun bar? Big sparrow? Chun -chun. Oh, I really like the minimalist um, ink style of uh, traditional Japanese paintings. But many times I've thought about what it is to enter into the world of the painting and look into the gallery. This is the first time I've actually done it. Shinshi no Heavy and Messenger of God Snake. In the art, you can in the art. It's really big again. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Go! Yeah! <laughs> I like Japanese gardens because they're peaceful. In Western art, snakes are often the villains, even when they're doing uh, the work of God. But the truth is, they're really pretty, and I think this painting brings it out. I'm just glad that they kept it away from the sparrows, because otherwise that could be a disaster. Oh, it could still be a disaster. Chinese holy beast. By the way, Yoikami is a side of beast. You know. Okay. 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 The Chinese unicorns, like all unicorns, I guess, are really majestic creatures. I have a really good feeling that we had to meet one on our path through the museum. So, maybe we shouldn't be riding it, though? I guess only special pure people can ride it. I'm not gonna touch it. Go through the wall. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Wow. It's getting more dreamlike. Oh, look at the colors on the board. It's more than yeah. opalescent. Mm. Thank you for watching. 
please subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. When I was younger, I studied Japanese calligraphy quite a bit. And after staying up really late to study and falling asleep, I had dreams kind of like this world. But I never got good enough to put them on paper. I adore the flying fish and the floating balls and their likeness to the bubbles. Everything here seems very light, but still also very grounded and beautiful. Like here, because we're at the top of the trees, at the top of a tall temple, flying up to the dragon. I really hope this means that we're going on to new worlds. a famous painting, isn't it? I'm ready to go. So big it's like... It's there like you go. I'm trying. For a sacred place. We are heading on this way. Pino. So cute. I see. You just cute. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice noise. Uh, oh, this is so cute. Is it because it reminds you of uh, Hong Kong? Yeah, it looks like like like, like, like a cyberpunk. Oh. Dear, dear, yeah, Shika, dear. Wow. Yeah, Everyone. octopus. I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going with some of It's kind of cute. It reminds me oh. of a Nintendo battle. Uh, the ball? What, what is the ball called? I don't know. At the beginning of the museum, there is a sign that says when you're trying to find your way through the museum, don't think about it, feel. At the beginning of here, it said, or the, at the beginning of this display, the sign read that this isn't a painting, this is a world that was created. I entered in through something that looked like an iris, and isn't that the way of art? Our heart it's one to enter into it to create a whole world whenever we see even the smallest speck of something beautiful and artistic. The colors are adorable and beautiful. Looking back outward, I see such a lovely palette. This place really inspires me to a nice feeling, but I can't quite put it into words. Interact. Spot on. Uh oh, that's too much interaction. Okay. Oh, oh that is quite something. Ah. So beautiful. The phoenix, as a symbol, goes through cycles of death and rebirth and regrowth. And whenever it repeats, there's an eruption, isn't there? I feel like there should be. And I feel like this whole gallery was that path for our phoenix that was protecting us from the beginning. And look what it's become. This is magnificent. So I think this whole piece was the heart of the phoenix. The whole museum. The 3D modeling and world design was done by Shiwan. And the background music was done by Ku. Yuki Hata and Artone, who are well known to the channel. Yeah. Also, Tanabe san was a special contributor. 
Actually, this world is my recent favorite. So there are many art styles in real world, but this art style is only VR. I'm a desktop mod now, but you have to visit the here with VR headset. Check out this new art style. Yeah, that's why I love and I miss Higuchi art and the live VR live painting performance. And if you have a PC or a Oculus Quest, come on this world and look, I miss Higuchi's art, the VR. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video.